Hey guys, it's Money Head Kid. Um, this time uh, we're gonna be. Well, I guess not technically unboxing, but revealing the uh, one two hundred scale uh, Hogan Wings seven forty seven LCF, also known as the Dreamlifter. Uh, so yeah, I've been planning on getting this model too for a while now. Um, since uh, I did see. I think there might have been two of them at, uh, what's it, Payne Field, uh, where they build the, the airplanes, um, at the Boeing factory, and, uh, they had these at the gift shop there, I'm not sure why I didn't grab one, I ended up getting some other models, but, I was always planning on, uh, going, I was gonna go back there, um, this, uh, spring, and then I realized that um, then me and my friend are deciding to go to Oshkosh this year. Um, so I'm actually pretty pumped about that. Um, it's like the world's largest air show. Uh, we'll be flying in there on uh, United. I'll be on the 737-800 from Sacramento to Chicago, and then we'll drive to Oshkosh. And then on the way back, I get to be on a United 757 from Chicago to Denver. And then they stuck me on a SkyWest CRJ200 for the long ride back to Sacramento. So, yeah. I think that's like end of July, beginning of August or something. It's like the last week before school goes back. But, yeah. So, yeah, that's why I ended up getting this one, um, I was always planning on getting it on Waffle Collectibles, because they had it on there, but, um, one day I was looking, and I saw that they didn't have them in stock anymore, and I was like, oh no, and then, so, I was searching around, and I finally found one on, like, pilotware.com or something, I think it's similar to diecastairplane.com, um, if not the same company, um, but, yeah, so I decided that, if these are going to start going out of stock, I need to pick one up right away. Because uh, this is a really cool plane. Um, and you can see you have your hinges here for when the tail opens up. It doesn't actually open, but, and then they shove the Dreamliner inside. Um, I've actually measured. Dreamliner does fit on the inside of there. Um, so, yeah, this is a really chubby plane. Tail number is November 780, um... B A uh, Bravo Alpha. So yeah, it's got a plain blue tail, and it's it come with the gear. There's the it's got blue engines, uh, no winglets, which is realistic. So yeah, overall, it's, a, it's just a pretty funny looking model because uh, you can see like the regular 747 nose, and then it goes up into this big. Just bleh thingy. <laughs> Similar to the Airbus Beluga, but you can see that the 787 fuselage actually would fit in there. My hand's in the way, but it would fit. And, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> this is a really cool plane. It's probably like my biggest plane now um, in terms of mass, not like their wingspan, but. So, yeah. That's uh, that. I, this model wasn't too expensive because uh, it was a Hogan. I think it was like 40 or $50 maybe. But it's definitely a cool model. Um, <laughs> it's just a really big model. It just looks kind of funny too. It's not, it doesn't look very aerodynamic, but it is. So, yeah, that's that. Um, um, this one, yeah, this one, this one came with a stand, came with a really large stand to support this guy's big, massive mass, um, so, yeah, and came with rubber gear, so, that's that, the last of my, uh, model unboxing for this order, um, just been trying to find room for the airport, it's getting so crowded lately, and, uh, Things are always moving around. I'm always changing the plane on the runway or the plane taking off. So it's always different. But, yeah.
yeah. I think this is my 33rd model. But yeah, I'm also trying out some new rendering uh, things for these videos. So I had the old one on the 7.6 video, and the new ones are on the two Hogan Wings unboxing I just did. So if you can see a difference, let me know. Um, so yeah, until next time. I'm not sure when I'm going to order another model. I don't really have anything in mind at the moment. Um, but, yeah, if you have a model, I'll, I'm definitely thinking about probably getting the Lufthansa A346 next. I'm not sure when. It might be a couple months or two. Going in the summer here, things might get a little busy. But, yep, video's getting long, so I'll see you guys next time.